This is Kelly Hutchins from the Department of Pathology at Loyola University Medical Center, and welcome to our mini lecture series on dermatopathology. Today I'd like to talk to you about a differential we use when we see patchy lichenoid inflammation on sh shave biopsy on sun damaged skin. And we call this the all peanut butter differential. All peanut butter because each letter of all peanut butter stands for one of the differential diagnoses for patchy lichenoid inflammation on sun damaged skin. The A stands for actinic keratosis, an L, lichen planus like keratosis, these are also called lichenoid keratosis or benign lichenoid keratosis. The next L for lentigo maligna or melanoma in situ, the P in peanut butter for porokeratosis, and the B for butter for basal cell carcinoma, specifically the superficial type. Let's look at those up closely and see how we can differentiate them. So first, from low power, you see exactly what we were mentioning. You see this patchy lichenoid infiltrate. You're on sun-damaged skin. It's a shave biopsy. So the first thing you want to always do on a specimen is go from top to bottom. When you look at the top, you will notice immediately these pink parakeratosis areas and these more purple orthokeratosis. And we call that the flag sign. There she is, the flag to remind us that this is a flag sign. And we specifically see this with a certain entity, um, oftentimes an actinic keratosis. And so we wanna go down to look for atypia, which is obligatory for the diagnosis of actinic keratosis. And when we go higher power, we see we do indeed have atypia of the epidermis and that these follicles are spared. See the follicular sparing, they don't have atypia where the areas next door have this pinky blubbing disorganization of the lower level keratinocytes. And it's the sparing of the follicles that gives us the flag sign. Not seen in every AK, but often associated with AKs. And so that is our diagnosis here. Next, we have a biopsy, medium power here, and we see also a lichenoid infiltrate. But in addition, at the dermal epidermal junction, you can see these little pink guys here. There's one, here's another one, here's another one. These are called savat bodies. These are necrotic keratinocytes. And when you see them lower down in the papillary dermis, they're called colloid bodies. And we associate these with lichen planus. Um, also, if you look at the top, you can see that there's a little bit of wedge-shaped hypergranulosis. So this really um, earns its name of lichen planus-like keratosis, because you may be thinking of lichen planus, However, this is, presents as a single lesion on sun-damaged skin, often with a differential diagnosis of basal or squamous cell, and it's a lichen planus-like keratosis. The next L, um, this is the one you do not want to miss, my friends, because you have patchy lichenoid infiltrate um, on sun-damaged skin, but along the dermal epidermal junction, you also have some business going on here. You think you may see something along the DEJ. You think you may see something forming a group of cells or a nest here. So you go high power, and sure enough, you see you have atypical melanocytes, and they are growing completely along the dermal, dermal junction. In this example, we even have some pagetoid or upward spread, which, uh, don't forget, is not required for the diagnosis of lentigo maligna. Um, lentigo maligna can solely be made up of confluence on the dermal, dermal junction with single cells and nests. And this is uh, a lentigo maligna or melanoma in situ, and we don't want to miss this one. The next uh, letter of the all peanut butter differential is P. So once again, looking from top to bottom, we see some interesting patterns of the keratosis. Um, it looks like it could be para, and then the rest is normal ortho. So we're gonna look closer at these parakeratotic areas, and we see the parakeratosis is forming this um, cup-shaped coronoid lamellae, and this cup-shaped lamellae goes down into the epidermis where you lose the granular layer focally, and you have these little necrotic keratinocytes um, below it, which is very characteristic, uh, characteristic of the coronoid lamellae of porokeratosis. Lastly, we have our last biopsy from low power with this patchy lichenoid inflammation. Um, we look up top, it looks good on the top. We're not seeing much going on there. That's not gonna help us. Um, I don't see any nests or melanocytes along the dermal epidermal junction, but I do see this proliferation of basal cells coming off the um, basal layer, and if you look higher power, you can see that this is a superficial basal cell carcinoma. And thus, 
That completes our differential for patchy lichenoid inflammation on sun-damaged skin, and we like to remember it by using the mnemonic all peanut butter. Thanks for tuning in.